Hello, my name is Dino Hoss, and today we will be looking at stock valuation and the concept of prudence. Now, the concept of prudence states that the stock or the inventory should always be valued at the lower of cost and net realizable value. So what that means is that if we know we can sell the stock for less than it actually costs us to make the stock in our factory, then we have to, by the rule of prudence, value at the lower cost of either the net realizable value or the stock cost. So what does that mean? Well, it's actually very, very straightforward. The net realizable value is how much you could sell it for minus any expenses you had to pay to market the product um, and uh, you know, encourage customers to come and buy it. The stock cost is the actual cost of manufacture. So if we look here at four computers, we can see that computer number one cost us uh, 1,500 to make. So the inventory cost was 1,500. As is the case with uh, clothes items and fashion and technology, often you find that they um, lose a lot of value in the marketplace quite quickly as the technology develops or the fashion changes between seasons. So here with this computer, we can see it costs us 1,500 to make, but actually its net realizable value, value, its saleable value in the marketplace is only 1,300. So when we're coming to give the value of the stock that we have left in our warehouse or our shop, we have to choose the lower value Otherwise, we're breaking the rule of prudence. So here, the lower value is the 1,300. Um, so even though it costs us 1,500 to make, we value at the lower of NRV or cost. In this case, the net realizable value is lower. So we would give the computer number one a value of $1,300 in our closing stock. If we look at computer number two, this actually costs us 1,350 to make but it's now only going to receive 1,100 as a net realizable value in the marketplace. So again, the marketplace value is lower, so the NRV would be the figure that we use in our closing stock calculation. As is with computer three, 2,500 to make, only saleable for 2,400, so that's the value we would use. And it isn't until we get to computer number four that we find actually it costs us only 3,200 as a stock cost to assemble or make in our factory, but it's net realizable value in the marketplace, i.e. it could be sold for $4,000. So here we don't use the 4,000, we use the lower value, which is the cost value in terms of how much it costs us to make or to assemble. And then when we're working out our closing stock figure, we add the values that we have chosen, either the NRV or the cost, together, and that gives us our final closing stock value that we would use in our cost of sales calculation in our trading accounts.